Hannah here at Dee's and today I'm going to show you how we make one of these beautiful fall lantern bows that can be tied on a number of things for the season. This one I used a sunflower pick that had the leaves and berries already attached and then added the ribbon. It's super easy and it adds so much to lots of things around your home. All you need to make one of these fall bows is a pick of your choice, two different ribbons. I like to choose two different widths. I have a three inch and a one and a half inch, a pair of wire cutters, scissors, and some cloth covered wire. What you're gonna start by doing is fluffing out your stem a little bit and cutting off the, the bottom part of the stem. So I leave about an inch and a half just so I have something to tie my ribbon onto. Then you're gonna make your bow. I set this to the side and start with my widest width. First, I leave about three inches up, and that's gonna, sh that's gonna be the part that comes off the top of your bow. Then I just twist and make two loops out of my widest ribbon. Just like that. Then this tail, I'm gonna leave a little bit longer so it has enough to drape down whatever you're adding it to. And I go ahead and cut it at about 10 to 12 inches. Now I'm gonna move on to the smaller ribbon, and again, I leave a shorter tail up top so you get that PC bow kind of look. And then I make three loops of this one, so this is the one that's going to show up the most. And I just go twist right on top of that bigger, wider ribbon. And again, leave this tail a little longer so you have stuff trailing down maybe 12 to 14 inches on that one. Now I have my bow done, and I'm going to take my cloth covered wire. This is a yard piece and I fold it in half so it's a little thicker so you can twist it onto items a little bit easier. So fold that wire in half, go around the middle and don't tie it yet. So I just pull it around the back and I go ahead and grab my pick and tie it on right now all in one knot. If you tie the bow separately, it wants to wiggle away from the stem but this holds everything secure. So all I do is take my cloth covered wire up in between the stem and part of the branches of the stem and tie it in one big knot. Make sure to double knot it so it's really secure and then that way when you go to untie your bow later off of whatever you've added it to it doesn't come apart in pieces. So now I'm ready to fluff my bow and cut the tails with those cute bees. And then I go ahead and pull some of those berries and leaves to the front of the bow, just so they really show up. And that is all it takes to make the lantern bow. Now you're ready to twist it on a number of things. I grabbed this wooden pumpkin, which is one of my favorites this year. And look how easy it would be to add so much to this by just twisting on that bow. And then if you ever decide you want to change it up, all you have to do is untwist it off and you can use it somewhere else. Or how about adding it to a lantern with some lights or a candle in it. Just twist it on there and you can always take it off and buy one for Christmas or make, make a bunch for Christmas. Or what about those boxwood wreaths you have at home that are just plain you use all year? Maybe you have one in your kitchen or on your back door. Just twist it onto the wreath to add a little fall flair and you're ready for the whole season. For more tips and ideas, find us on Facebook, check us out on Pinterest, and make sure to find us on Instagram. Have a good day. <laughs> All right, tell me when. Uh, you can go whenever you're ready. Hey guys, it's Anna.